Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel, Vibing After Dark underscore with Mo. And if you're new to my channel, how about hit that subscribe button? And if you're a returning subscriber, how about send it to a family or a friend so they can vibe out with us? And please, 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 please make sure y'all like this video. That helps out a lot and thanks in advance. Alright guys, so as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, we got quite a few things to get into tonight. The first thing I want to get into is this debacle that went on with Papa Blue, his girlfriend Rebecca, and DJ Sky. I got an update on that. Also, we're going to be getting into Bonnie Lachey. She's still calling out DJ Sky. She's also trying to get a deal on the Tronics Network. And she claims she's going through something, which the fans are saying that she's trying to say she had a miscarriage. And the last thing I want to get into is the Malone sisters coming out and saying that they're struggling. Also, China is starting to promote her book and also is in a cooking cook-off. All right, you guys, so let's jump straight into the video. Y'all know on my last video, I talked about how Papa Blue was caught being out with DJ Sky and everybody was assuming he's messing with DJ Sky and they were sending it to his girlfriend, Rebecca, and she wasn't feeling it at all. So she went on like an Instagram rant and she was talking about how he made her feel and things like that. But it looks like as of today, they are all made up. He took to his Instagram story and said, Papa Blue, sorry, and is a very loyal and honest man to his queen, Rebecca. I did not mean to start any negative vibes in our relationship by going out to the club. I will never cheat on you, my queen. And then she took to her Instagram story and said, sorry to my man for dragging him through the mud. So like I said, it seemed like they got it all figured out or worked out as of now. And... Hopefully, they'll stay on good terms, and hopefully, he knows better than to go out with Christian Rock's friend again. So, let's move on to Bonnie Lachey. Y'all know I have not talked about her in a minute, but last time I did talk about her, she was claiming to be pregnant. All while, she was trying to start fights with Face by Nikki, which is supposed to have been Christian makeup artist, and also DJ Sky. But just to give y'all an update of what she had going on lately, she's been posting to her Instagram story some sad things. She said, I will never wish this on anyone. I can't believe this happened. I'm so sad and hurt. Traumatized for life now. I just want daddy, blue face, baby. So then she said, I don't care. I don't care. I'm back on my bull ass. No matter what happened to me, I still have S to do. S gotta go to my bookings. I love you guys. Thank you for the kind messages. See you soon, LA. I'm devastated, but we gotta get this work done. Then she said, God, I ask that you give me a peace of mind to be able to move on from this. Then she wished this artist right here a uh, rest in paradise. I'm trying to heal and get a deal. I don't want to keep the same. And she got the poodle emoji up. With the praying hands and the laughing emojis. And she tagged like all of the networks. So y'all, then she started asking for money with her cash app. She said, send money so I can get my feet done and make another toe sucking video. And so y'all, I thought she was sad because of the female that died from the Bad Girls Club. But a lot of people in the comment section was alluding that she was claiming that she had a miscarriage. When she said she was pregnant by Blueface. Which she never was pregnant by Blueface the whole time she was saying that. But she she was carrying on with all of this sob stuff. And if that's the reason, that's crazy. But anyway, she ended up posting on her Instagram. And she said people kept tagging her in the thing that went on with Blueface Dad and Sky. Which I'm sure nobody was really telling her about it. She just wanted to add her two cents in for the clout. Because I do feel like Bonnie Lachey is definitely a clout chaser. And she just want herself to be seen and known so she really can get a deal, like she said. Y'all still sending me DJ Sky. Like, I've been said to ho. I've been said she's a fake friend. She's a slut. We knew that already, though. Like, over the past few days, everyone's sending me DJ Sky dancing on Blue's dad. We knew that, though. That's, I already told y'all she too. Now she's trying to add she's up for her. This is her ass again. Like, I already beat Mariah Lynn, beat her very next day. Y'all just be thinking she getting beat up for nothing. Like, no, this is weird. And she keeps running off like a mouth. And then she supposed to be Krishan's friend, but sitting up here using everybody. You're using Krishan, fucking with Blue, you, his dad. You trying to free you can to get to the top. We already know you Kanye. You're a weird ass. Just to get on stage, you these rappers. You're a walking STD. Disgusting. Ew. Okay, so y'all heard what she had to say about DJ Sky. And DJ Sky has not responded, which nobody really ever paid Bonnie Lachey any attention but 
Tronix Network is paying her attention because she talked to one of the executive producers and managers of uh, Tronix Network. And they are trying to see where they can fit her in put making her own show. Y'all see? I mean, me 600, with 900, 1,000 likes. Okay. Hey, forget the likes. Let's the talk about these speed. views. Let's talk about the views. I'm getting over 100K views. I'm the most viewed or the second most viewed um, person on your stories or on your pages. Here's, every, here's, you know every, because I, I can see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's smart and she's pretty. Yeah, we're like, <laughs> Thank you. It's giving, it's giving boss lady vibes. So let me tell you what my plans are just really fast to inter, 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 uh, inject on the, the live. Okay. So I'm one of the executive producers for Tronics. I'm like Ray's right hand man. Uh, I do also pr uh, production coordination and all that. So I'm, I'm, all, I'm the liaison between everything, the social media, the talent, the production, above the line talent, the executives. So my goal is I want to bridge the gap and I want to bring you, uh, when I get back in town, I should be back in town uh, this week. I want to take you to the Tronics Mansion, you know, the parlay with the family, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Talk to Ray, uh, meet C Shout, <laughs> meet you know, meet meet the family. Oh and my! The way, and, the, and the way we do it, we just you know, we just kick the shit. We just kick it and be like, "Yo, so what's next? What, what we got to the table? What do you do? What have you been doing? You know what I'm saying? And then we figure out how to move from there because at the end of the day, it's about us continuing these stories and these narratives. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, so you're a boss woman in your own right, and I want to be able to help elevate that. And That's the Okay, so y'all heard that. So China X Network is trying to work something out so she can, you know, join the team. So I guess all the foolery she's been doing for clout, it worked for her in her favor. So congratulations to her. And let's move on to Krishan's sisters. But before I move on to Krishan and her sisters, I got one question for y'all. Do y'all think if y'all younger sibling make it before y'all make it do y'all feel like they're obligated to put y'all on or help y'all out y'all let me know what y'all think about that because this is what i feel like is going on with Krishan and her sisters or at least that what the people in the comment section is putting two and two together and coming up with so tessa malone which is one of Krishan's older sisters she was on live and she was asked the question about the restaurant opening because I don't know if y'all remember, but when Krishan kind of like first had Junior within the first maybe two months, Tessa was with Krishan in L.A. and they was talking about opening up a restaurant. And so it never happened. So Tessa went back to Baltimore and this is where the conversation came about about her with the I, restaurant. You know, even for the haters, I'm grateful for every obstacle, every trial that I go through. I'm ready to cry. I thank God for everything that I go through, but I will never, I will never downplay my family. I will try my best to uplift them, even with me detaching from them. Like I fell back from everyone for these this past six months. Like I've been, yeah, we was together with Sean on Mother's Day, whoop de woo. That's how they said in LA, whoop de woo. You know, but I'm very grateful, you know, because y'all just don't know. If you knew my testimony, y'all wouldn't even pay attention to the dumb stuff that's being said. It's not even true. If I go back to LA, it'd be awesome. I just want to go and, you know, hang out with my fam or call me with a position. It's in my account, but I'll never do that again. Go out on word of my, oh yeah, I'm gonna put you on a payroll glow and <laughs> it don't happen. <laughs> but yeah. I just pray, Heavenly Father, for those who have, are having financial problems, oh God, like me. Everyone think, oh Lord, oh, because two of my family members are famous, oh God, and have this and that. No, Lord, I pray, Lord, for them and that you will continue, oh God, to provide for them, oh God. But I pray, Lord God, that you will position me where I'm able to get my restaurant, oh God. No weapon formed against us shall prosper, oh Lord. And we thank you so much that we can call upon your name, oh Lord. <laughs> we thank you. We could call the fucking name, oh Lord, oh Lord. <laughs> so much stress, oh Lord, normal, and people are on my love, oh Lord, but you do, oh Lord. You know what they stand in need of, oh God. <laughs> Just have your way, Lord. Help people to learn how to communicate, Lord God, without it going left, oh Lord. Help those, oh Lord. Be working, so. And I'm opening up a restaurant, too. I can't wait to tell you guys the good news. But the food about to be bomb and shit. Because my sister know how to cook. So we got y'all. Grateful, you know, even for the. So somebody in the comment was like, 
This is sad as F. I would at least help my family start a little business or something. Y'all not picking up the clues. Krishan was yet again trying to squeeze herself into stuff. The restaurant she was promising her sister was never going to be her restaurant. It's the restaurant Blue was talking about opening. Yet again, Krishan doesn't build nothing from the ground up. She comes in situations already established and tries to force her way in. Then pits claim to it like it's hers and makes her family believe it's hers. Somebody else said, shaking my head, Rock made all those promises and claimed everything she was doing was for her family, when in reality she's taking care of her friends and rather be pimped out by Blue. Y'all leave Tzatziki alone like y'all did when y'all made those allegations towards her. We already knew Rock was broke, that's why she went back begging Blue and is humble now. She's waiting on Blue to give her a life jacket to save what career she thinks she has left. Don't worry, she'll be back in Baltimore with y'all soon. Girl, we knew you was never getting that restaurant. And this person said, and I oop, all your sisters and people you interact can't be lying on you. Wasn't she giving Marsha a thousand every week to watch her baby? Okay, y'all, so after that video kind of like went viral or everybody was talking about it, Tessa was not feeling it. She said, y'all need to report this liar. Everyone knows I didn't say anything about my family or bash them. I answered a question and pray for everyone and everything, but watch out because... You know you wrong for lying on me. And Hot Tea Hot Chocolate said, This video was heavily edited to make her sound like she was talking about her sister and she wasn't. I myself was on the live. And so she went live again and she spoke on the situation, but it was very brief. Uh, post me on, on some pages lying on my name, but the ones that knew what I said and what you know we were talking about, I just answered a question. Um... Oh no, Honestly. that's why I got the whole live and I'm about to post it so they could see it wasn't messy. Yeah, I don't like that. I play with my name. That's why I love, like, you know. But anyways, I, I be telling my sister, don't be explaining yourself, but I hear I go explaining me. Let me shut up. Thank you, Lord. He fights my battle. <laughs> and so somebody in the comment section was like, girl, I watched that live. You definitely said it. Praying but throwing shade at your sister at the same time. It's okay to say you was hurt because Krishan lied to you. You didn't think it was going to get out like it did because you clearly was venting and trying to win that cooking spot, but you said it, girl. Someone else said, if it was edited, you could tell by the comments and how everyone in them was responding. They will do everything but be honest and hold accountability. It's so weird because they growing, especially hot piss. Ain't she like 43 with 11 kids? Like, grow up. Okay, so not just Tessa was talking about having financial trouble. Chastity herself, too, was also caught slipping. And somebody posted the screenshots of her asking for cash apps and donations. And then kind of getting upset with the person because they didn't send it. Okay, so the text messages was like, My little sis, Chastity, the capacity, a.k.a. Then it got cut off. It said, repost, share, like, and comment, please. Big brother post. On Tuesday, it said to you, I don't, of course, know you, but watching you on here and how strong you are, you got this. Just remember why you choose to get it together because no one perfect, including me, I'm on probation as well in my old age. I don't know your whole story, but I know you grind for your family and your kids. Of course, first, you got this, no doubling back. So then the person asked her, what's her cash app? She gave it to him. She said, thank you. What time you get off? The person said seven. She said, okay, thank you. The person said, I'm going to share with my coworkers your cash app if you don't mind. There's doctors and nurses. They never mind helping, but if it's okay with you, they don't need to know nothing else. So, y'all, she sent her cash app again, and then she did a video call with the person. And then she said, I was depending on what you said you would do. If you don't have it, you can just say that. Instead, you will help and then don't respond to me anymore. Okay, so I'm not saying that it's okay for her to talk to the person like that, but I do understand her frustration. Like, Chastity just got out of jail. She just lost her baby daddy, and she's pregnant now. So she was trying to figure it out before she even got pregnant, which some people may say that's her fault because she shouldn't have got pregnant, which I agree. But the baby is on the way now, and she is struggling. Okay, so the last person I want to talk about is China. That's the oldest sister of all 12 of them. And she looks like she's starting to promote her book. And it's called The Black Sheep of 12. Are y'all going to buy her book? And also she was entered into this cooking, I guess, cook-off type deal. 
where you had to go vote for the best cook. And also Tessa was in the same thing. And I guess people were saying that she was copying Tessa or people must be was saying something to her for her to put this on her Instagram. And it says China enters the same cooking competition as her sister Tessa. And the post came from Z-Banger, actually. I don't know if they back friends or not. I remember they fell out. But China said, good day. I've been cooking since I was 19. Stop playing. Everyone that knows me knows this. Outsiders, y'all better ask someone. But anyway, you guys, that's all I have for y'all in this video. Like I said again, y'all let me know. Do y'all feel like Krishan was supposed to put her family on? Or do y'all feel like that's too much of a responsibility on her? Being that is a lot of them. Also, let me know what y'all feel about Bonnie Lachey possibly getting on the Tronics network and her claiming to be pregnant and probably having a miscarriage. Also, what do y'all feel about Blueface, dad, and his girlfriend getting back together? Y'all leave it all in the comment section below and I do comment back and I catch you guys on the next video. Mm -hmm.